Good morning, guys. Um, here is my. Uh, let me just make it a little bit lighter. Here is my uh, UFO sprayer that I made. I just want to talk to you through the the design of it or the thinking behind it. I took a, pl a plate, a paper plate holder. This is this part. This yellow thing, and then. I uh, cut off every other uh, support that you can see there, every other one I cut off, so there's still the others holding the ring intact, and then I bent it downwards as you can see, okay, and then uh, I took a piece of plastic, it's actually a Teflon, that I'll show you now on the other side, it go right through, it is uh, sort of a, 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 like a flange with a piece going outside to the side and then uh, it go right through the plate holder and then this is a normal micro uh, sprayer uh, support leg and then I took one of this 360 degrees little sprayer, uh, micro sprayers and I block 270 degrees of the holes with uh, quick glue and carbonated soda. So you will see there's only a small opening there and it's, it's positioned so that it, the water stream come out and it touch every other one of these uh, pieces that you see here, so it start turning. So what makes it interesting is there's three actions in spraying. The first one is the water that came out gets splashed by this, some will drop down and others, others will be uh, sling outside through here and it create many drops on the top side, this side, that will fall down and others will, drops will fall off which water this OD at the bottom and then there's uh, the other water that is slinged outside touches this this uh, angle and it spray it down like a, uh, ang like a, uh, when in an angle to the outside more or less a 90 degrees outside all the all around it's actually four four uh, motions and then s some of the water that that assemble here while it's turning go through three of this openings here. Here's one at the bottom and here at the top is another one. So that slings out the water further. So it's actually uh, four ways of the water to escape and uh, while it's turning. So it's a, it's a twirl action with four um, directions of water. So I just secure the little pipe here, you can see, with cable ties. So let's look at the other side. So here you can see, you can see the white part there. This is the Teflon that came through, right through the plate. And this washer fits very snug over this piece of the Teflon and then uh, this board run freely between that two, uh, two plates totally freely so you can self imagine some water is uh, going right through here others is splashed here uh, others is going 
outside in this areas and the whole circumference is also water spraying out so this is basically what my think, uh, thinking was and I put two extra flaps on just for in case there is water misses that it will catch that this two will catch the water and help spring and also splash water so this is my whole thinking behind the thing and uh, this just uh, you just press it in the ground so let's test it in the field in my little micro field of corn and see how it works gentlemen let's water the field Always shoots a little bit on this side, so I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Less pressure. Okay, it's a little bit smaller. We can reposition the sprayer to the center of the field. You can see the droplets. Let it run for a while and then move it a little bit. I've got some water assembled there. Let's start making a canopy. I repositioned it now. So I've got a, more or less a kind of a flood irrigation as well. See, it's about the height of my hand already. Okay, guys, this is uh, my UFO sprayer. I hope you like it. And I will keep watering it until everything is nice and deeply wet. Okay, see you on the next one, guys.